management we have already done cookies then we did the session part and today we are going to discuss temp data temp data is one of the means of sharing data between two pages of your website you can store some data in one page and you can read that data in another page behind the scenes temp data is stored as a cookie or as a session but this decision is taken by asp.net core engine you do not have to worry whether you want to use a cookie or you want to use a session all you have to do is you have to store some data at one point and that data can be read at second point the good thing about temp data is that its lifetime is automatically managed this means you do not have to worry about removing the data when it is no longer needed temp data stores data until it is read in another request this will be available till a request reads it once you have read it then it will be discarded away so this is good you can optimize your website like that by default the life is till it is read in the next request but you can always make this change yourself you can prevent its deletion also that i will discuss also in today's lecture how is data stored in temp data so what is the code for that you will create a property but that property is marked as temp data then you can store anything into that property by the usual way of using this equals and how is it read you can read it in the razor page and before reading it check whether the key is available or not this key is the same member that you stored that data this is the data member and this same property name should be here also and then you can read it by the square bracket temp data message how to prevent deletion as i told you once you read it it goes away but you can prevent its deletion if you read it using the peek method temp data dot peek message if you read it this way then the deletion can be prevented there is an alternate way of preserving it also preventing the deletion for that what you do is you read it the usual way this will this will cause the data to be deleted otherwise but if you follow it with a call to keep then the data will be available it will preserve it will be staying there let us demonstrate all the things that we have discussed the project that we shall do today let me explain that our project will have a text box and a button user will type something into this text box and click to send this data to page 2 when the user clicks this you will be taken to a second page and your data will be displayed there so let us create an empty asp.net core project add a folder called pages right click the pages folder only to add to new to add a new item first add a razor page called index then add add a razor page called page 2 let us start by writing markup into the index.cshtml page this is the add page directive this is the model your backing class and form method is equal to post this is a text box the text box is given the name my data and this is the submit and this is click to send this to page 2 when the user clicks this submit the data will go as my data variable so let us read it on the let us go to the backend class this is the index.cshtml.cs backing file the index model class there message is the property this property is marked as temp data when the posted data reaches us it reaches us as my data because we gave the name to this text box as my data and this my data will be stored into message and because message is a temp data now this can be read on a different page for that let us come to page 2.cshtml add page add model some headings and all and here if temp data dot contains key message that property that we stored just now if the key is available if the property is available then we will display it and if it is not available then we will say no temp data so let us run the project put some data run the project and you will see that your data is shown here now once you have read it and you refresh it the second time the data will not be there refresh the page and you will see that the data is not there it has been cleared away we could have prevented that clearing for that instead of reading it that way we should read it using temp data dot peak this change will prevent its deletion so if you run the project again 
you will see the data again and if you refresh the refresh the page even then the same data will persist so that is how temp data works thank you